Hey guys, it's Scott from Let's Play Easy Mode, and today we are going to be picking things back up with Tears of the Kingdom. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you're new here, then welcome to the channel. And if you're one of our regulars, then welcome back. Today, we are gonna be diving back into the world of Tears of the Kingdom. And I am honestly really excited to pick things back up. We've got so much work to do in this game. I know we're gonna be in this game for a while uh, still. We're at the point in the main story now where we could end it any time, but we've got a lot of shrines to do. We have a lot of light routes to find, a lot of the depths to explore, a ton of side quests to do, Korok seeds to find. There's a lot to do in this game. It's huge, it's a huge game. And I can't imagine like, Breath of the Wild was big. This was like bigger. And it kind of makes me think, I know I've been reading a lot of articles about how Nintendo is, you know, looking at like what they're gonna do, how they're gonna make the next Zelda game. Uh, certainly I don't think it's gonna be in this age anymore. We're gonna be moving on to a new age with Link and Zelda. But, uh, I mean, how do you top this? Do you go bigger? Like, I mean, because once, that's the thing, you have to keep get, either getting bigger or doing something really creative with it. And it kind of makes me think what they're, you know, how in the world can they top what they've done with BOTW and Tears of the Kingdom? Uh, I think certainly it's gonna be doing something different. I mean, these games have so much replay value and so many people have, especially with Breath of the Wild, have, you know, played that game multiple times and have enjoyed it every single time. With Tears of the Kingdom, I mean, the fact that you can create so much stuff, you know, it just goes on and on. And, and I feel like there's almost like this unlimited gameplay. I mean, really the limitations are with this game are just your own imagination, you know? And, you know, what can you come up with? What can you play with with the physics and, and uh, creating all the parts with fusing and everything? So uh, it is definitely a vast playground and I'm thoroughly enjoying playing in it. Now, last time we played this game, we ended up going down that little royal secret passageway uh, from Lookout Landing to the castle. And uh, we discovered a whole lot there. Um, and it was really kind of cool. You know, we also discovered that little horned statue. And uh, oh, so if we ever want to cash in stuff, we can. But we really don't need to at this point. We're, we're loaded on stamina. We're going to stay that way. Um, we're continuing to go through the hearts. And, and it's, it's, you know, upgrading those. It's been, it's been a lot of fun. Now today, I'm actually thinking of still kind of messing around a little bit. Um, with uh, some of the side quests. Some of you guys have been mentioning that there is more to do in Lurlin. And so I've actually been thinking about picking things up and going back to Lurlin uh, because there's more to complete there. Um, now that I'm not just gonna take a ton of time away from the depths. I know I've been talking about ex um, exploring those more. Obviously we have a lot to do down there. I just kinda wanna break things up a little bit. We are gonna get back into the depths maybe even today for all I know. Um, we may do a little bit up top, we may do some in the depths. If we don't do the depths today, we'll probably end up doing the depths next time, um, you know, and just kind of keep it fresh and, and do some stuff so we don't just stay too stagnant in one area at one time. I do like to break it up a little bit. So uh, today I wanna go over to Lurlin and kind of see what you guys are talking about, talk to some of the people there and see what there is waiting for us. Apparently Lurlin is not complete. I thought I completed it. So I'm gonna go back, enjoy the music, enjoy the beach, and just kind of see what's going on over there. Uh, hopefully you guys are excited for this episode. I know I am. Uh, if you are, do me a favor and click like on this video, and also make sure to subscribe to the channel for more content. The other day I was looking at, at you know, all the analytical stuff, and I couldn't believe it. I still had like 46% of the people watching my videos have not put a ring on it yet and click subscribe. So if that's you, if you're a lurker, if you're out there watching these videos, all you gotta do is click a button just to say thank you. That would be awesome. So do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, come on in, put a ring on it, join the community officially there. Also, make sure to hang out with us in Discord. The link for that is down below. And if you'd like to dive in deeper with me and get your hands on even more Let's Play Easy Mode, then make sure to hop on over and get signed up at Patreon by going to this link right here for $5 a month. You can get early release content, which means you don't have to wait for these videos to hit YouTube. You can see them first over at Patreon. And for $10 a month, you can get that plus exclusive content because we have games that we have over there amassing in the library. 
that are just for patron eyes only. But no matter what you sign up for, do hang out with us on Wednesday nights. We have a lot of fun over there on Wednesday nights. Sometimes there's a lot of people. Sometimes there's just a few of us. But either way, we have a blast. Lately, we've been playing Hat in Time, but we've also done multiplayer Mario Kart against each other. I always lose. I've never won. Uh, I've come in like second or third place a few times but uh, definitely go come check it out come play some super smash or you know mario or you know just come talk about video games and life we have a lot of fun so make sure to check that out special thanks going out to our current list of patrons guys thank you so much for your patronage over there some people on that list uh the, the people at the top of the list have been on that top of the list uh all this time uh because they have been patrons all this time and thank you so much for your loyalty to all of you and to anybody who's ever been a patron before. If you're out there and you would like to get a shout outs in every single video and show your support for Let's Play Easy Mode and you wanna hop on this list, uh, then make sure to hop on over and do that today uh, by heading over to Patreon. All right guys, without further ado, let's pick things back up with Tears of the Kingdom. Okay guys, we are diving back into the world of Tears of the Kingdom. Now, uh, if you've been following the channel recently, you know that somebody, a benevolent gift giver, who is still anonymous, uh, sent in this new microphone for me to use. Uh, but I'm still trying to get uh, really the best way to do it. I need to get a pop filter for it, but um, it's uh, I'm trying to keep the right distance because I've had a couple of times where I've been a little too loud in it. Uh, so I really am trying to find that. So please uh, forgive me as I'm just kind of working through some stuff here. Uh, and today I am on my last flavor of Madrina's coffee, guys. The official coffee of Let's Play Easy Mode right now. Even though I'm not sponsored by these guys, um, I'm, I'm still hoping I can be. We're working towards that, I hope. Uh, but this is my, I, I have dark roast left. That's all I've got and it's delicious. I act, I will say with the dark roast, I ha I did add a little bit more cream and sugar into it, but now it's like perfect and delicious. Mm. Oh, that's good. Uh, the caramel, like all the other flavors I had, caramel, mocha, vanilla, cheesecake, they were all like drinking a milkshake with coffee in it. It was so good. All right, guys, I'm gonna change my pants here. Uh, let's let's change our pants. Cause that we had these on to, um, you know, so so that, ooh, the Zonite shin guards are up too. We've done good with those. Um, where's my pants? There's my pants, Hylian trousers. Let's go with those. I know the other ones are rated a little higher, but I like the look of these other ones more. Um, there we go. And how are we looking on weapons? We got Master Sword. Good. And we've done some cooking. And now we have that. Good. So, guys, we're, we're totally ready. I just remembered what I wanted to do. Guys, I haven't picked this game up in over a week, and I've been dying to play it. And it just occurred to me that one of the things I, I really wanted to do in this episode was find Feroche. So we'll be keeping our eyes open for Feroche. Um, because we, guys. Is that, is that Feroche coming out of the ground? How great would that be? Nope, it's Dinrail, uh, uh, Dinrail or Denral. How do I, oh, there's the zoom. Oh, I like the old picture better. Okay. Well, that's cool. That still, that would have been awesome though if that had been Feroche. Um, and to be honest, I was just sitting here thinking, what did I need him for? Uh, it was, something is highlighted here. Guys, look at all these missions. Got a statue, that's what it was. We need a ferocious claw um, because there was the tipped over got a statue over in the hidden temple or the forgotten temple. But right now we don't have Feroche with us. But that was pretty awesome that we found Dinral. Okay. Um, 
let's let's go over to Lurlin for now. I have been wanting to head back there anyway, so let's go let's go check in with the gang. Oh, eventually we gotta fast travel to Eventide and, and check things out there too. So much to do. And I love it. Let's fast travel over. So a confession time. Confession time. Uh, as I look at my clock, it is 1134 at night. And it's a Friday night as of the recording of this. And so I admit, guys, that I'm being irresponsible tonight. And I am playing some Zelda. The girls are in bed. Everybody's tucked away and sleeping. I just recorded my second episode of Fallout 3. And now I'm gonna work on this. I threw my back out this week. It was awful. I have been barely able to move around and walk and now I'm feeling better. Ah, it's that family. They're the ones that gave me that outfit that I got rid of. <laughs> um. Anyway, I'm feeling better now, and today I had really good news. I, I uh, had a really good doctor's visit. It was awesome. Some of you guys know that last year I was diagnosed with MS, and today I finally got a new neurologist, because after I moved it was really hard uh, to get all that set up, and I've been off treatments and everything, but uh, I'm happy to say that I'm in absolute 100% full remission, and, uh, and yeah, they said I'm in a good, really good place and just to stay on top of it. So we're gonna continue those infusions, but said there's no reason to think that I won't stay that way. And, and uh, you know, we'll just knock on wood and, and just, uh, I'm just gonna be thankful and grateful for the, that blessing as long as I'm allowed to have it. So uh, it was good news today. Let's talk to this girl. Hi, Hi Kiana, that's a pretty name. And I love it because it's one that I can actually pronounce in this game. Uh, welcome to Azure Bay, the village's premier and only restaurant. I was wondering when the village savior would drop by. Luralyn owes you and Bolson a lot for fixing our houses, rebuilding our shops, and restoring our community. Anyway, the feast we had was a delight. Seeing Bolson and my boys dance together really tickled me. Maybe that's because they all look terrible when they dance, who knows. Even remembering it now, I can't help but chuckle. Say, are you hungry by chance? Or maybe you'd like a meal for the road. Aww. Here at Azure Bay, uh, I, Azure Bay, I believe, um, I try to surprise my customers with meals they've never had before. I learned a lot of new recipes during my travels, and I want to share them with adventurous eaters in Lurlin. And for you, the village savior, it's on the house. I'll take it. Oh, that looks delicious. Okay, enjoy. I'm always putting unique new dishes on my menu, so do come again. All right, let's go talk to the dad. Ooh. Let's see. The latest article is... Uh, resort restored and ready for you. I don't know. You know what? All of a sudden, I'm seeing him read the paper, and now I want to, like, impose on him the sound of the father from A Christmas Story when he's looking in the paper and he's reading at the table. You know, that'd be kind of fun. Yeah, well, hey. <laughs> Lurlin Village has returned to its former beauty, with locals crediting one man as the savior behind its comeback story. How about that? It's the news again. Hey, Zuda. Hey, you're the guy from before. Dad really makes a big deal out of things, doesn't he? But it's okay. Thanks for helping me find a shirt. Someday I'll grow up to be a guy like you who helps people in trouble. Dad said that the pirate's camp is on Eventide Island to the east. I'm gonna eat lots so I get good and strong and then I'll march to that island and finish them off. Interesting. So maybe that's something for us to do on Eventide. 
Hey, you're the guy who fixed our house and our village and stuff. The savior guy. Kinov. Um, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you think? Pretty good, huh? My mom and dad said to say thanks if I saw you. <laughs> play with me. Let's play. I don't know why. Why am I all of a sudden starting to move towards Elmo? Yeah, yeah, Elmo loves to play with Link. Let's play, um, 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 um. Oh, I know. Let, let's play quiz. Elmo loves quiz. I ask questions, and Elmo asks questions, and, and Link answers them. Sure. <laughs> Yay, yeah. Okay, Elmo's mom really good at, is really good at cooking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so I know lots about ingredients and stuff. Oh. Quiz time. High-tailed lizards, yeah, yeah, and hot-footed frogs can go in elixirs to make you run faster. But wh <laughs> what am I doing? But which one has the bigger effect? Yeah, yeah, high-tailed lizard or hot-footed frog? Yeah, yeah, yeah link tail Elmo. Um, high-tailed lizard. <laughs> Buzz, the answer was half a frog. Silly Link. <laughs> I guess that's why they're so hard to catch. Hmm. Ah. There are lots of froggies near ponds and waterfall basins and stuff. Yeah, 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 near water, basically. Oh, but tireless froggies won't come out anymore, even when it rains. Oh, it makes you Elmo sad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Elmo gets sad, but then Elmo gets happy again. They probably got scared of the pirates. And are hiding in caves. Oh, even though the pirates are gone now. What? That was fun. <laughs> Let's play again soon. Okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, this is what happens when Scott plays at 11.30 at night. Oh, look at the lonely person down by the beach. <laughs> um, huh, are you the one who saved the village? I thought you looked tougher. You must be pretty strong beneath the surface. I'm from Hatino Village, but my wife is from here originally. She's been feeling awful since those pirates attacked. Oh, oh but after you sent them packing, we decided it was time to move. Guess I should start learning the ins and outs of the Luralin dialect. Is that his wife? Oh, we have a mission. I heard about you. Mm, Link. <laughs> You're him, right? The person who helped Bolson rebuild the village. Thank you so much. My father, Rosal, speaks very highly of you. Anyway, you know, I was living with my husband in Hatino Village until not too long ago. You can tell they're wearing the H official Hatino hat. When we heard those monsters occupying the village uh, were driven out, we decided to come and look around for ourselves. <laughs> Overall, I'd say it's looking mostly as it did before. I was born and raised here, so I really appreciate all you've done for this village. Uh. Now I'd like to do my part to help get things going again in Lurlin Village. Here we go. The problem is I'm so hungry that I can't think of ideas. Only food, like one meal that I ate long ago. Hylian rice cooked with Goron spice and porgy. Hmm. Uh, thinking about it just makes me hungrier. With a few forkfuls of that in my stomach, I have the brain power to come up with an idea for livening up the village. But where am I going to find that meal? Not here. That's for sure. The ingredients aren't easy to come by. Okay. We'll do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. So, uh, unfortunately, she's too hungry. Um, 
Oops, wait a minute. I messed up. There we go. Look at all these side quests. Unbelievable. All right. After, um, she is craving a dish made with porgy, Hylian rice, and Goron spice. Okay. What is porgy? Isn't that a dish you have to make anyway? Isn't porgy like its own thing? I think. I don't know. Mm. She'd be she would be very happy right now instead if she just had some dark roast madrinas cold brew. Okay, so porgy, Hylian rice, go around spike. Now I know I've got Hylian rice. Let's see what I got. Uh, materials. There we go. Okay, so this is Hylian rice. I don't know what porgy is. But wherever whatever we do, I think we're gonna have to go get Goron Spice. You know what? I need arrows. Cool. Um that's something I need to do. I need uh I got 49 there, that's good, but I want to start really building up my arrow. Because some of you guys told me that, like, when you focus on arrows, you I mean, there's no reason to really have to buy them. A lot of you guys were saying that the arrows, some of you, like, maxed out your arrows. Okay, um, we're going over here. Let's go hang out with the Gorons. Goron City. Let's see if this is something we can just buy. We got money. We sold a bunch of stuff for for it, you know, for money. I'm probably gonna have to put on my fire suit. Mm. This is so good. I am so thankful for this gift. Still, it's still the gift I'm continuing to be grateful for. Thank you, Regret, uh, for this. Oh, good. I I don't have to put on my fire suit yet. Um, let's go find a store that we can. Let's go see what we got. Oh, they got stuff to do. Um, let me just add this to our list. Master Roy Fugo. Please let me try making the boulder breaker again! Ugh, you've got some gall, kid! After you up and left the workshop in the middle of training for some marble rock rolls, what's it? I'm done with you! I've got no excuses. But I still need to put the finishing touches on that boulder breaker. First, let me prove myself, please! If it's still if it's still no good, then then you can be done with me. Oh, I just realized I'm reading a conversation between the two. Okay. Well, you got your enthusiasm, and that counts for something. But without materials, how do you intend to do this? You'll need a cobble crusher, five pieces of flint, and three diamonds to complete it. Since you spent all your material funds on marble rock roast, we're dried up. We don't have money for materials. I don't know why, all of a sudden, sometimes my voices when I'm just free for alling, they tend to morph into something. So I start out with, you know, whatever, and now all of a sudden I'm, you know, Carl or whatever his name is from Sling Blade. I'm like, mm -hmm, French fried taters. Reckon where you going with them sacks full of wars? Uh, since you... Mmm. <laughs> I want them french fried taters. Uh, since you spilled... <laughs> you don't have my... Oh, I, I'll just, uh, do something about that. Okay. 
Awesome. I'll do that mission another time. But I gotta find this door where I can find Goron Spice. Ooh. What you got? Has this got food? Look at this. We have rock salt, cane sugar, Goron Spice. I think just oh. one, right? That's all. Cool. So now, um, we've got, oh, wait, I want the other one. There we go. Okay, so we've got Hylian Rice, and Goron Spice, and Porgy. What is Porgy? And where would I find it? Ooh, I am tempted to just grab those real quick. How much if I take them all? 80? Sure. Just to give us a boost. You know, that girl said that those ingredients were kind of hard to find. And that makes me wonder if the reason why they are hard to find is because they are in various places in the domains. Like maybe I could find Porgy by going to either like the Rito or, you know, we'll go check out here stuff here with Zora. We'll go down to Gerudo if we need to. Mm. This is so good. So good. I want to get emotional with the idea of not making these guys my first sponsor. I hope we can do it. But I will say this is also great because now the time check is 11.50. So let's go get that crab. So I'm going to be staying up, playing this game, doing some editing. Um... Okay. Uh, okay, I was gonna say, can I get over there? Yes. <clears throat> Let's go find a shop. Ha ha hoo Hey, we got more stuff to do. Frank. Hmm, a floating place. I am sure that is what I heard, but... Oh, oh Link, how wonderful. You <clears throat> heard me talking to myself, didn't you? Since you are here, I must ask you something a bit odd. Mm -hmm. Have you heard anything about a floating place? A floating place? Oh. Here is my tail. <laughs> he turns around, he's got one, a tail. <laughs> it's Finn. When my dear wife May went out fishing, she was singing this mysterious song to herself. Mm -hmm. I found a floating place where I'll catch fish with grace. A hop and a skip to a great fishing trip. Or something like that. And with that, my wife hopped and skipped over to the bridge in the east of the domain. At the time, I paid it no heed. She is given to songs of fancy. But her absence has started to weigh heavily on my mind. Aww. A floating place. A hop and skip away. I have never heard of such a place. Oh. My wife is a type to rush off in a fit of excitement. I am worried that she will do something rash. Oh, oh my beloved May. I dearly hope that she has not gone somewhere dangerous. Okay. Let's keep adding on those missions. Hi, little child running around. It's like Mifa almost from behind. Um, who are you? Oh, Coda. Oh, Lenny. I mean, Link. You should have told me sooner that you were visiting the domain. Really, though. Imagine how surprised I was to find out you were here after you had already saved the domain again. <laughs> it's just silly. 
Speaking of, I know it's a bit late to thank you for your continued heroics, but thanks so much, Lin uh, Link. You, um... Oh, oh, enough already. I can't stand it. It feels so cold and unnatural to call you that. As though we're strangers. I thought it would feel weirder to call the hero of the domain by some silly nickname I gave him as a child, but... <laughs> oh, whatever. I'm just going to go ahead and call you Lenny. Hey, Lenny! Ah, oh, yes. That feels so much better. I call you Lenny because you're more than just Link to me. I hope you'll forgive me for using my old friend card for that. Oh! Something quite curious happened. Uh -huh. mm, Finley and Sasson went out treasure hunting. They came back empty-handed. And yet, they seem so happy. You would never have guessed they didn't find the treasure. <laughs> <laughs> you must have had a grand old time on their adventure, even if they didn't find what they were originally looking for. Okay. Is this like a place to stay? These are beds? These are beds. That's what this was. Okay. So we need not this place. Though it's nice to have to cook. Try this over here. We got a good store. We need a store. Ah, okay. You know what? I'm doing this again. Just, just, yeah. This will help us. Hylian rice, swift violet, splash fruit, Hylian tomato. I feel like porgy is something that you have to make. Right? You know what? O over to, oh wait. No. <gasps> Por porgy, not porgy, porgy. It's a fish. Hardy salmon. Yes, I will buy that. Oh. Porgy was a fish. I totally forgot. But where do I find it? Oh, wait, we have more missions. Dento. Yeah. Yeah. Link, once again, you have done Zora's Domain a great service. Thanks to the efforts of you and our young King Sidon, the domain has been saved. You must allow me to thank you. Yeah. Oh, Link. You intend to go up against the various phenomena plaguing this world. You need a weapon that is up to the task. Ah, the light scale trident has been passed down through generations of the Zora since ancient times. You will not it will not fail you. Bring me the necessary materials and I'll craft one for you with all due haste. You must acquire a Zora spear, three diamonds, and five pieces of flint. I think we can do that. I think we already have that, actually. Even a Zora spear that is decayed with will suffi will suffice mm. Mm. return to me when you have the required material I'll be waiting all right we need to find this fish um Clef? <laughs> wait I see his hand up there and it looked like he was talking on a cell phone uh hi hey yeah, Clef? Yep, yeah, Mom? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Do we need anything else? Just bread and milk? I'll pick it up on the way home. Okay. Thanks. Uh, let's see. Boy, that last voice, though, the one before that, the... Ah! That one got me a little bit. I'm a little rough in the throat now. I, I swear that Porgy was a was a fish.
But I gotta figure out how to get one. You know... Guys, I'm not even gonna pause the video. We're gonna do this right here. Get ready. This is... We're gonna see, we're gonna see what the Googles have to say. Oh look, one of you guys sent me a message on Patreon, but I'm not gonna read it out. Uh, okay, here we go, guys. Um, come on now. In Tears of the Kingdom, where is the best place to find Porgy? According to IGN, you can find many mighty Porgies in the Horan Lagoon near Lanairu Great Spring. Okay. Horon Lagoon. Lanayru. Or she said Lanayru, but sometimes Google doesn't always get pronunciations right. Of course, neither do I. Um, where's Lanayru Bay? It says, oh, Horon Lagoon. Right there. So, let's see if I can... Fast travel, let's fast travel here. And then go on over and see if we can get a Porgy. I gotta stay away from the microphone. Sorry guys, I'm still leaning in. This mic sits differently. Uh, I've got it facing, kind of aiming down. Which is great, because it's not in my way. It doesn't like get in the way of, uh, of my face the way the other one did. Okay, we, as I remember, wasn't Horon Lagoon, this was where we had to go when we, we're getting ready to go get Minoru, I think this was one of those areas we went, wasn't it, is this where? Anyway. Okay. Look for fish. Oh, hey, now, hey. I bet they're in there. Hey, there you go. Oh, is it down there? In that cave? Maybe. Hey, you watch yourself there, mister. I worked hard to get all these arrows. I don't need you. You think the Porgy are down there? Oh. Porgy. We need Porgy. Ooh. Why is it rising? Uh, we've obviously been in here, right guys? Because the it was on the map. I think that's the waves. Oh, I see. Are they gonna be in the cave, the Porgy? Yeah, I don't think they are. I think they're gonna be up here. Yeah. Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. You guys remember that? Now that we're doing Elmo impressions, we might as well do Ernie, right? 
when I was a kid, there was a Sesame Street episode, one of the most classic. And I'm just, I know I'm going to sound like an old man. So, trust me, I say this as a guy who's raised a daughter up in the modern era. Sesame Street was, was like, so much funnier when I was a kid. Back when Jim Henson was actually in charge and, like, Kermit was on Sesame Street. Oh, my gosh. It was so funny. But the classic episode of Bert and Ernie trying to get fish. And Bert can't catch any fish, but all Ernie has to do is go, fishy, 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 fishy. Here, fishy, 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 fishy. I think his voice went up when he did it, too. I'm not sure. Hang on. It says, you can find many mighty porgies in the Horon Lagoon near Lanayru Great Spring. Okay. It's also 445 and raining. We'll keep our eye open. It says many. I wish we had a fishing pole. That would be cool. We still got those enemies over there, too. Does the rain scare the porgies away? <laughs> I doubt it. They're fish. What? Oh, goodness! I just realized that somebody... So I'm saved. Benny. Uh. You're pretty strong. Thanks for the save. This isn't much of a reward, but I hope it helps. Hey, thanks for the tomatoes. Oh. I'm still chasing down the mystery of those geoglyphs that appeared after the upheaval. I've seen the geoglyph here, but now I have to decide whether to look for others or to delve into the dragon mystery. Oh. You heard about this? Some folks say there are these legendary creatures called dragons right here in Hyrule. Is she someone that keeps her head down when she walks? I think... Or, wait a minute. Is it just that Link sees the dragons? We've talked about this before, I think, in Breath of the Wild. I think you guys told me once in the in the comments during BOTW that Link was the only one that saw the dragon. Because what no one else ever really talked about them. Lots of people claim to have seen one, but I and I know they exist. Okay, well, never mind then. I guess Link isn't the only one. Because when I was a girl, I saw one too. Mm. Though my memory of it is pretty hazy, I'm, it must have been, I must have been too awestruck by its majesty. One thing most rumors have in common is that dragons are seen flying through the sky. So I should search from high, high ground. <laughs> Any of that catch your interest? Then you should keep an eye on the sky too. Well, that's all for me today. See you around, I hope. Good job handling yourself against that thing. Okay. Porgy, porgy. Uh. Uh. 
Okay, I'm not near the lagoon anymore. I think I need to go back over here, at least where the writing is. Look at that wind. Porgy, Porgy. Um. Hopefully, it looks like we're gonna get get some sunshine here eventually, and maybe that will. Guys, I don't know. Maybe they're down in that cave. Wait, no, I think I see a fish. <gasps> Look, that's gotta be enough. That's an armored porgy. An armored porgy. Okay. That's got to be enough, right? I think. But I wonder if armored porky is will do the same as regular porky. Let's go find out. Down here in the Lurland. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. This has been uh, fun already, just hanging out, helping our friends in Lurland. Because now it makes me wonder, by helping her, um, she said that she can really help liven things up, and it makes me wonder what does that mean? Like, if we help her get the meal that she wants. Sure is a rainy day here in Hyrule. But I wonder if this will start her on a whole new quest. Oh, look, I can get more arrows. Nope, no, no arrows. I want to liven up the village. I can't think of ideas. Only a delicious meal I ate once. The re oh, okay, I have to cook it for her. Okay, so armored porgy or mighty porgy will work. Okay, cool. Ugh, just thinking about it makes me so very hungry. Okay, I'll go cook it. I gotta borrow wherever that is over here. Well, now I need to wait for it to stop raining so I can, can I cook inside? That family had a, is it covered? It's covered, awesome. Okay. So we have an armored, Porgy and wait, Goron Spice and hold up, hold up, Hylian Rice. And now we're going to have a new meal. Tough seafood curry. Oh, I hope that does it. There we go. That intoxicating smell. Is that? Yep, seafood curry. 
There you go. Ah, oh, that smell. This is the dish I've been dreaming of. You made it for me? Thank you so much. And now I eat. Slurp, slurp, slurp. That spicy flavor balanced by a strong note of umami. It's just too delicious. Ah, so satisfying. At last, I can start thinking of ways to draw in visitors. Let's see. Wait, oh no. Hot, hot. The Goron spice is burning me up. I can't focus when my whole body's on fire. All of a sudden, she just spontaneously combusts in front of us. What do I do? I need a gust of wind to cool me down. Um. Okay. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Hold up. I know I could probably just go find a leaf somewhere. There we go. Ah, much better. Now I'm nice and cool. Wait a sec. I, I got an idea. A flag. We can make a flag as a symbol for the village. That'll help draw in visitors and liven up the community. Time to start working on the design. Nice. Okay, okay. This here, that there. Piece of cake. Looks good. A satisfactory job, if I do say so myself. Thanks. It's like she complimented herself and then she said thank you. Scott, you're doing a great job. Why, thank you. Let's see. Really? I couldn't have dreamed up such a great idea without your help. Now, I think I'll go liven up Lurland Village with a new flag. Here, it's the fabric I use for the flag. Maybe you'll find some other use for it. Nice, I got Lurland Village fabric. That's awesome. <laughs> if you go to Hatino Village's dye shop, they can probably help with that. You know, I've been the flying choo-choo now for a while. Curious what she's gonna do. Let's follow her. <laughs> Everyone's calling you the town savior. And I'm no exception. I even credit you with the flag I made for Lurlin. Have you thought about bringing the cloth I gave you to the dye shop in Natino Village? <laughs> it would make me very happy to know that you found uh, your own use for it. Maybe that's what I need to do next? It's not coming up as something I need to do, but... Um, there we go. There we go. Look at all of this. I'm, you know what? I'm just going to do that. I'm going up to Hatino. And I'm going to see what, what happens when I do that. Let's go home. Because it is home. Hatino is, is always going to feel like a home for me. Though... Oh, that's good. Though we do have... The new house, which I, admittedly, I love the new house. <clears throat> and almost always, for whatever reason, the weather is almost always perfect. I'm not sure it's ever been raining whenever we've gone home. Oh, it's not even raining here now, but...
Hey there, Pennywise. <laughs> if you were looking to add some color to your wardrobe, you found the right place. Who do you do? Uh, okay, welcome to Kochi Dye Shop, where we live to die. <laughs> you know, you add some clown paint on there, you can't unsee it, guys. It's Pennywise, the new one. Not the the one from the 80s. You know, did you, how many of you guys have ever seen that? The original, it was an ABC, it was on ABC. It was a like a four hour mini series, two episode, and I cannot remember the name of the actor. Tim, Tim Curry. Tim Curry, I think was his name, uh, played Pennywise. And he did a great job at it, by the way. But it still wasn't as dark and freaky as the new one. The, this guy reminds me of the new one. Shay! Uh, you found yourself some fabric. <laughs> His voice. <laughs> um, I have a new reference. Oh, that's an Aracuda, all right. I can feel the inspiration bleeding into reality. I'll start developing this pattern at once. I didn't even think about that, that we got new pictures and stuff. All tone. Perfect enough to give me goosebumps, that's for sure. You can have the fabric I worked on as thanks. Okay, thank you. Shay! Shay! Let's do that. What else we got? References sparks an idea. Come over and show me. What do we got? Uh, rework the paraglider. Uh, rework it. Um, what do we got? Lurlin. I can't believe, guys. It's been, I've had that choo choo for a while, but I've actually been thinking of changing it to, uh, to my uh, easy boy. Setting the fabric, ready to launch. That'll do. Looking forward to your next visit. Now go out and paint the town red. I love how they do this. It's the old house, guys. And I still view this as it's my playthrough. Bear in mind, it's my playthrough. I still view this as our house. There's the horse, guys. There's Goldie. I could just take a picture of Goldie. I don't need to. Huh. The only thing I wish I could do. Oh, maybe I still can. Hang on. I get a good angle. I want to hang that up in the house. Let's see. Nope. Oh, here we go. That might be about as good as I'm going to get it. Ooh. Yep, guys, that's going up in the house. Look at that. Oh, that makes me happy. All right. Because I've been meaning to come back here and do that. 
I hate to say it, but short of a miracle at the end of the game, I'm not really sure that that's ever going to be a thing. Uh, okay, let's go back to Lurlin. And see what she says when we drop down with that fabric. It might just be a, oh, I'm so glad, thank you, bye. But let's check it out. I love Lurlin. We're rocking out Lurlin. Then I'm going to go put my picture up in the house. Then we're going to go do something else. It sure has been rainy today. It has been such a rain. Actually, it's been a rainy week in real life. She's not there anymore. She's going to be probably here. I mean, it's 1.40 p.m. Why are they sleeping? It's the afternoon. What are you doing up? Robert, I love you. What is it? Rhodes? Surely it's not time to wake up yet. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were my husband. Apparently they are up all night and they... And that's it. Okay. Well, let's wait till they're up. Hey, Numar. No matter how much debris I dug through, I couldn't find the precious painting. Honestly, I lost hope it would never be recovered. But Bolson told me that thanks to you, it was, and in perfect condition, moving rubble, building houses. Is there anything you can't do? You know, I'm set to be the head of this village one day. I only hope I'm as good at solving problems as you, our village's savior. What's going on here? Bolson's got something going on. Yes, we have a mission. Rosal. Rosal Dazzle. Uh, hey now, what's on your mind? You're thinking about teaming up with your pal Bolson again, aren't you? I'm not surprised. Our chemistry is out of this world, yeah? Funny thing is, I was just talking to the mayor about creating some kind of new attraction in Lurlin. Mm. Yes! Mm. <laughs> yes, I'd like it to be some kind of entertainment. Something everyone could really get behind and enjoy. Hmm... Mm. Mmm, you've traveled all over the place, haven't you? Any marvelous ideas you care to share? Open a floating hotel. Ma oh my, how romantic! Mmm, mm, but we already have an inn. We need to offer some kind of entertainment that doesn't already exist here. Offer underwater tours? Mm. I like it, sounds dreamy. It sounds nice, yes, but breathing would be a problem. Still, some kind of water-related entertainment would be nice. Host a water rally? <laughs> Host a rally race? On the water? Clever, very clever, don't you think? Oh, <laughs> oh him. Well... It would be a brand new form of water-related amusement. <laughs> I could do the trick. Yes, in fact, I think that's it. Oh. I seem to recall Hudson saying something about inviting some hotshot professional racers to help develop some new vehicle. If we could work with them... Hudson? Do you mean the fellow from that Terrytown place in northeastern Akla? I'd love to invite the racers here once they finish their work there. 
though I do wonder if real professional racers would be willing to come to a place like this. Okay. Let's get busy with it. Um, back. Let's go to Terrytown. And you know what? I wanted to go to the house anyway and put my picture up. So let's go have some fun. To the house. And then to Terrytown. Very nice. Hopefully you guys are having fun with me today. Tonight, for me, it's tonight. Actually, it's it's uh, morning now. It's 12, 12.30 in, in the morning. It's Saturday. We have nothing going on. Well, it was Friday night going into Saturday. It's Saturday now for me. We have nothing going on. Pretty wide open day. We were thinking of filming a video later today for our family channel. Guys, this is gonna be awesome. Uh, we got Easy Boy here. Let's do this. Oh. <laughs> I can hear you all the way from here. I'm not a bad artist. There it is. Ah. I love it. I love it. Just do me a favor. Come on. Thumbs up on this video for that. Guys, look at this. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Come on. That is awesome. That is so wonderful. Guys, this house is gonna be the best ever. Look, our easy boy. And there's the gang. That's how it all began right there, guys. I love it. I love that. That does my heart so good. Mm. All right. Hey, while we're here, let's cook up our fish that we got. We had a a fish. We bought that hardy salmon. Oh, mighty. Where's my hardy salmon? There it is. Uh, it'll restore all the hearts and temporary increase. Yep. Cool. It doesn't say how many it will do, but I'm sure it's just one. Do I have anything else I can use? Any hardy truffles? I don't think so. Okay. Well, take a look here. Hmm. I think we're good. It's always good to have a little extra. <laughs> hey, plus four. It's not bad. You know, one thing, oh, I was just gonna say, one thing I am surprised about. A Shrine of Light, okay. I was getting really surprised that as much as I've walked around up top, I have not come across another. Uh, the sensor has not gone off 
in a while. There we go. Hey guys, we're back! See, this is really home now. With the house that we have up on the hill, I mean, this is home. What are these guys doing over here? There's a conversation going on between Hudson. Oh, look at this. What am I trying to, what I'm trying to say is, a Bagoblin's most distinguishing feature is its nose, which you'll find squished upon its face, like gloof. Its ears, on the other hand, are quite foopy, and its horn goes swift. Hmm, mm, that description of yours can't say I get the picture. What's going on? Oh, oh hello! I appreciate you helping me with Madison. That was a rough patch there, but I think a lot better. Oh, but I feel a lot better about things thanks to you. <laughs> Ronson is back to working on those dream homes, so I better get back to work too. Oh, sorry. If you don't watch out, I'll start t talking your ear off again. You've been a good listener. Thanks for that. This is Kilton. He moved to Terrytown the other day. Yeah, I know. We've met. Oh, he asked me to make a sculpture of a monster for him. Uh, I'm sorry, sorry. I am an awful describer of things. I would draw you a detailed picture of a begoblin if I could, but there is no art to be found in the bones of my body. But fret not, I, Kilton, will describe the monster to you with more enthusiasm and much zest. Surely that will help. Um, well, it would be better if I had a detailed picture to refer to. I've, I've got a picture. There you go. Is that a Nintendo Switch? <laughs> it doesn't really sound like he's saying Daya. It sounds like he's going Bakak. That's the impression of my chicken. Um, th that's it, exactly. That's the Bagoblin I'm looking for. Oh, now this is a good picture. Let me use it in reference. I can make the sculpture no problem. <laughs> May we borrow it? Of course. Oh. Like, why would Link go sorry, but no. Great, just leave it to me. I'll get it made. Son and done. <laughs> Quick and quality, blink and we're done. That's why every son chooses Hudson Construction. See, that's the music. He, his building should be the rhythm of the song. Son and done is promised. Hi. Look at this, it is very monster, it is the very monster sculpture I've been longing for. Ooh. It was easy. <laughs> now, pretty as please, would you pick the perfect spot to display the sculpture on the stage over yonder? Ooh. I'm afraid I can't do that. <laughs> what? Ooh. I've got a rule against making that kind of decision. Too much responsibility, not my thing. Aw, oh, but, but who will arrange it on the stage for me? <sighs> That's why I think about your creature. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold up. I'm just curious. I was gonna take the fan off of this anyway. Oh, I can't do it. 
That would be funny. Alright, buddy. Hopefully that doesn't scare anyone. I grow hooligans making that kind of sound too much for my way, not my thing. Aw, but but who'll arrange it? I found a nice spot. What? What did you just say? Ooh, ooh! Such artistry. It's everything I ever hoped it would be. And so realistic too. It's as if my nose holes might catch a whiff of monster scent at any moment. It's true, even I could mistake that sculpture for a living, breathing monster. <laughs> yes, now we must show it to every eyeball in the village. Wow. Wow. I didn't realize it was going to be such a thing of celebration. You would think people are like, I don't want to see that monster here. It's going to freak them out. They wake up at night, they look out their windows, and then they think they're being raided. Hear ye, hear ye. Oh, sorry. Hear ye, hear ye. Come look, see. I present to you the famed Begoblin. Do not fear. Draw near. This is the only place you can safely admire such a creature up close. The only place. Ma. Ah. Ah. When you look at it like this, it is rather cute. Ahem! This sight has stolen your eyes. Now, give me your ears, all of them! Without further ado, this adorable cuddleable, cuddleable monster is called a Begoblin! They make house and home throughout Hyrule, and are, perhaps, the monster you've rubbed shoulder bones with most. <laughs> <laughs> with their large, whoopy ears and cute, goofy snouties, one can't help but want to give them a tight squeeze. Sadly, it'd be funny if he made that so it was like a squeeze toy. If you'd squeeze it, it was like... Wah, wah. You know. Sadly, their social skills are quite stunted. It's best to look elsewhere for a friendly embrace. <laughs> Goodness, yes. I do feel like giving it a hug all of a sudden. <laughs> look and learn. Then you won't hate. Understand what you fear, what you fear, and you'll feel great. For those with an open mind, wonders always await. It's like a Dr. Seuss book. <laughs> thank you, and thank you once more. You've not only helped my younger brother, but me too. Please take this as a token of my thankfulness. It's a concoction of my own making, you might say. Nice. <laughs> you are a great artist, worthy of renown. And because of you, I've taken the first step towards making my dream come true. I have long desired to collect sculptures of monsters from around the world and display them for all the eyeballs to see. I hope this will help shine a light on these magnificent creatures and the many wonderful ways about them. Everyone in the village seemed to like it, so I could probably make more. <laughs> Haru, really? In that case, I implore you to make a Horriblin next. Horriblins have big hands like whoosh and a coat that's quite wow. They also enjoy swinging from the ceiling. Mm. Hmm, your description, no, I still don't know what it looks like. Sorry, so sorry. I'm an awful describer of things. I would draw you a detailed picture. Oh, it's the same conversation. But fret not. I will describe the monster. Surely that will help. Oh, well, it would be better if I had a detailed picture. Collection two. I don't have a picture, but I can go get one. But next, we're going to move on to other things.
Who's everywhere? A nuanced understanding of the strange power of the Zonai civilization would broaden the scope of the practical application of the devices. Huh? Ah. Oh, apologies. I'm, I was lost in thought. The Zonai devices here all fell from the sky. I've surveyed various regions, but I haven't seen devices in this quality anywhere but Terrytown. Mm. My research into practical application is progressing well. I've studied the Zonai civilization for a long time. To us Zonai-obsessed research team members, this place is paradise. Wow. You're free to take what you please. Removal will not hinder my research. Hmm. For so many Zonai devices to be concentrated in one area, could they still be in production on the Sky Islands? Is that even possible? Oh, dude, you have no idea. Here we go. Hey. Furnison! Shabone? Is that her name? Or Shabane? Uh... This isn't what we agreed to. We left the desert and trekked all the way here because you said we'd get to drive a vehicle like no one's ever seen before. And now that we're here, the only vehicle you've got is some piece of junk that no one can control. What kind of fools do you take us for? Oh, oh I'm sorry. You've got it all wrong. It's like I said before. I'm working with Hudson Construction to make vehicles out of the Zonai devices and other debris that fell from the sky. And yes, it's true. We haven't figured out how to control these vehicles. But that's why we asked you here. We're hoping professional racers like the two of you can offer some guidance. So, what's it? What are you even talking about? We're racers, not scholars, okay? Don't try to confuse us with your fancy words. Oh. Whoa! You found nothing among these Zonai devices capable of controlling your vehicles? Mm. Sadly, sadly, no. None of the devices we found here in Terrytown work. Ah. Ah. Hey, hey, hey. I'm standing right here. Don't cut me out of this little chit-chat. Didn't you say those zone thingamabobs are from the Age of Legends? You trying to tell me something that old and run down is still useful? Please. Oh. Oh, we did come all the way here. It couldn't hurt to put our heads together. Besides, it's important for a racer to know her ride as well as she knows her own hands. Wasn't it you who taught me that, that Shabon? Oh. <laughs> Fine. If Tally wants to help, then help is what we'll do. Okay. Uh, furnace in the, from the zone I team. Oop. Nope. 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 That's not what we're doing. Uh, okay. Is this still? Uh, I kind of lost. Okay, here we go. Um, Furnison from the Zonai survey team, with help from the Hudson Construction, has been turning Zonai devices into vehicle prototypes. She has one, oh, she has one all ready to go, except for one problem. No one knows how to control it. None of the Zonai devices that fell on Terrytown seem to do the trick, so Furnison has called on a couple of professional racers hoping they might help. Okay. Uh... Is this the vehicle? It just needs a steering wheel, guys. How do you not know that? Do you have one here? 
I've got a ton of them, so I really don't mind loaning them one, or uh, using one here. Let's see. Yeah, I got 23. Try that. Hey now! That vehicle is a prototype, please do not touch. Hold on. What? Incredible, just, just look at it, it's perfect. I have no doubt the Zonai device was made for steering. Ah, so sorry for shouting. Are you new to Hudson Construction? My name is Ferneson. I'm collaborating with Hudson on the Zonai device research project. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm just gonna use my regular voice for now, guys. But more importantly, this Zonai device of yours, it seems like it could be used for steering things, doesn't it? Please, could you show us what exactly this device is capable of? I don't get it. That weird thing is gonna make that huge contraption move? Say all the fancy words and silly jargon you like, but I'll believe it when I see it with my own two eyes. Mm. Quickly, I must see. Huh, if we're going to do this, let's do it right. Hold on a minute while I get everything ready for a test drive. Mm. Let's see. Hmm, I think I flip the switches here and here and yes. Oh boy. Ta-da, it's a test drive course, you see. Those pillars of light, they disappear when you touch them, so here's what I'd like you to do. Touch all the lights and return to where you started within the time limit. Do that and we'll call the test drive a success. Until now, we've never been able to steer the thing properly. But if this device works, <laughs> we'll have, I just realized, I think I put the steering stick on the wrong way. We'll have to build another new vehicle. It's completely different. Okay, but I almost forgot. During the test drive, don't let go of the steering device or uh, go too far off course. We won't be able to retrieve the driving data if you do that. Yeah. Everything is ready. I'll do it. Yeah. Now let's get started. Go ahead and board the vehicle. Can I fix where the steering wheel went? Uh, so let's quickly remind you of the rules. It's simple, really. Just touch all the lights and return to the starting point. Mm -hmm. And don't let uh, go of the steering wheel or get too far off course. <laughs> Finally, things are getting interesting. You better believe I have a feeling this is going to be backwards. It's definitely going to be backwards. Okay. Hold on. We got to fix that. Uh, this isn't working. There. Because you can... There. There we go. Okay. Easy enough. They gave me a lot of time. Really glad I was able to. Doesn't look like. Yep, we're good. We're good to go! Nice. I'm really thinking about getting another cup of Dark Rose Madrinas. I don't believe it. I never thought something so big could be steered so easily. Ah. Whew, technique like that is enough to get anyone fired up. Don't you think, Tally? <laughs> no one who loves racing could watch that and not feel excited. Eh. That said, you got to really be in love with slow racing because that was a pretty slow vehicle. We can finally move on to the next phase. See, this is just the beginning for, of my experiments. I must figure out this Zonai device's full capabilities, and uh, I'm counting on you to help me out. Here, please consider this a down payment. Okay? 
<laughs> you're now an official member of our team. Oh, also, you're welcome to have this. Okay, thanks. Ah. It's a sleepover ticket for a stable, the closest one. To, yep, I know. Oh. Head straight down that road. You can't miss it. Thanks. Mm. You must be exhausted from driving. This must have been a mission that I could have done a long time ago. You must be exhausted from driving such a strange machine. Go get some rest in the comfy bed. While you do that, I'll get to work on the next phase of our project. I hope you're as excited about it as I am. Yeah. I wonder if that means that I need to sleep overnight and then it, it will be ready. See, the vehicle is up and running, so don't accuse me of trying to trick you anymore. My goal has always been to start work on the Terrytown Race Project, and finally, I can do just that. Now it's time for me to start preparing a test course. Wow. As long as we get to do some racing, you won't hear any complaints from us. <laughs> the Terrytown race? Hmm. Yes, I am looking forward to it. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I am so grateful you found the steering stick. Now I can get to work on the project I'm most excited about, the Terrytown Race. The Terrytown Race project is an important part of the effort to develop new vehicles. And it's almost ready. I just need to wrap up some final details. I will need a bit of time to prepare, but it shouldn't take long. While you wait, why not uh, get a bit of rest? You can put that free sleepover ticket to use. Well, I'm going to go home. And go admire a picture, the picture of my closest friends. All the things we've been able to do and accomplish. Guys, like, this has been a good episode. You know, like, working on Luralyn, helping them out, helping the racers out. It, it's been a really good, look, it's always sunny here. But here's the thing. Look at this. We can get a good night's sleep. It's always beautiful weather here. But uh, I was starting to say, I can't help it. Of all the things that I've accomplished story-wise... This is the fav my favorite thing I've done, is this. It looks so good. Look how big that picture is. It's all blown up and oh, I love that. All right, let's go. Let's let Link sleep. Link's gonna sleep, and then we're gonna go back and and talk to her, Furnison, I believe her name was. Oh, I think I heard Easy Boy out there go. Rrr. Ah, big stretch. Very nice. Okay. <laughs> There's easy boy. All right, uh, let me pause real quick and uh, I'm gonna get some Adrenas. I made that even better. Oh, that was good. All right, guys, let's do this. Let's go see if we can go talk to those racers. Maybe it's been enough time. I don't know. She might need like a full 24 hour period, but. Oh. Here we go. Hi there, kid. Nice. 
Let's go see what they have to say. There we go. Yeah. You're the traveler from before. I knew you couldn't stay away. Take a look at this. <laughs> oh, wow. With the help of Hudson Construction, we built a course for test driving vehicles. These runs will help us better research the steering stick's capabilities. So welcome to Terrytown. Terrytown race. <laughs> With Tally as our best test driver, we spent a lot of time tinkering with the course design. And we arrived at this masterpiece. Oh. They did all that just overnight. Watching you drive the course was very informative. I'm grateful. Uh, Sarkso. Mm. Drivers have to use the steering stick we provide. It's the only way I can collect the data I need. As far as the vehicle itself, anything goes. Use whatever you like. Now, if you're up for it, I'd love to see you do some driving. Ah. While you're at it, why not spice things up with a little competition? Say you versus Tally. She used to be called the Dame of the Dunes. You know, if you can beat her best time, well, then you win. <laughs> yes, not a bad idea. Oh. Sounds fun, doesn't it? If I recall correctly, Tally's best time is two minutes exactly. So how about it? Want to see if you can beat Tally's record? Of course. Yeah. Woohoo! I apologize. I got excited, and I can't help but woo and hoo when I get excited. <laughs> Once you've readied the vehicle you plan to use in the race, go ahead and attach the steering stick. Hmm. So I wonder if theirs is actually that much different. Oh. Maybe we have a new kind of modded steering stick now. Since you'll be helping us collect data, any Zoni device or building material you find around here is yours to use. Just let me know when everything is ready. Again, guys, I have to keep catching myself with the microphone. I'm sorry if I... Uh, This time, let's try... Well, these are all pretty big. Hmm. Well, let's, let's do this one. Actually, you know what? Somewhere in my history... I had to have built this. Where's the Mad Max vehicle? collected all those pieces. Oh, wow. Um, that is a different steering stick, guys. Wait. Was it? Actually, I don't think I can use that. I think once... Well, maybe actually not. Let's see. I was going to say, once I take this steering stick off... 
This one's so special. Nope. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, the vehicle looks good. Uh, I can't use that, though. Hold up. I will get there eventually. I just, I need to fix the steering wheel. There. Oh. Of course. The steering stick is all set up. I wonder if this one works better. Uh, let's see. First, I'll activate the switch. Hey. Okay. Tally's record is two minutes. You must touch all the lights and return to the starting point. Don't take your hands off. Yep. Two minutes. You know what? I got one wheel going the wrong way. Guys, I got one wheel going the wrong way. You have to rebuild. This might still do it in that time, but. Oh my gosh, how in the world? Got it. Yeah, we're not gonna make it. Not with, uh, not with this. Well, I don't know, we'll see. I doubt it. Not with a fighting wheel here. Going the wrong way. I can't believe this happened. So I had a totally incorrect vehicle saved in my favorite places. Might make it though. Oh, it's gonna be close. Wow, that is so stupid. <laughs> Guys, oh. Uh, Let me do it again. Can we do it again? Oh. Come back and drive anything. Okay, we gotta fix this. You know what else? Do you think this will go faster? Nah, I was just thinking like, well, if I put a rocket on it or something like that. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. This time, we got, we, we're gonna nail it. Because we had so much Resistance with the, the wheel going the wrong way. Oh, yeah. Way better now.
Guys, why did nobody tell me that if you press up on the stick, it goes faster? Look. See the wheels? If I go like this, why did no one tell me this? All this time? I love the fact that my battery is all charged up like this. Oh man, we're crushing it now. We got four working wheels and I just figured out that if you press up, it goes faster. I apologize if somebody actually did say this. If you are the one, if you are out there and you were like, dude, I commented and told you that you could press up. Feel free to comment again and could say, that was me. There we go. You can press up and it goes faster. Who knew? Who knew? You actually broke Tally's record. Here, this is my way of thanking you for helping us collect so much valuable race data. Oh, we'll take that. Who'd have thought a bow could race like that? All right, I'll say it. That was some brilliant driving. Your mastery of the steering stick was impressive. Well done. Well, 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 how about that? It's not often Tally has so much to say. Seems like her next great rivalry has begun. I'm honored to witness the beginning. After seeing how you optimize your racing line, I feel like you're ready for something a bit more challenging. You and I should talk. Come see you later. Come see me later, will you? Oh, but I see you now. Thanks for coming. The thing I wanted to talk to you about is, well, you see, operating expenses for this Terrytown race are a bit tight. So uh, what I'm trying to say is, we're now going to charge an entry fee of 10 rupees per run. Exciting news, isn't it? Thrilling even. Yes? No? Sorry? Perhaps exciting is the wrong word. It is a difficult announcement to make, and I can see that giving it a cheery spin didn't help. But still, we have the expert course, which I believe is worth trying even if you have to pay a fee. And of course, I'll reward you if we're able to get good data. So I'm confident the experience will be well worth 10 rupees. I'm game. That's what I like to hear. You want to use that vehicle of yours as is, or would you like to make some adjustments? I'm yeah. good as is. Fantastic. Those are the words I wanted to hear. Which course do you want to try? The expert. Mm -hmm. Then that'll be 10 rupees. All right, let's get started. Uh... Let's see. The switch for the expert course is... Here we go, guys. Let me just go over the rules. The time to be three minutes. If you touch each and every light and get back here, yep. But don't let go of the steering stick, yep. Going right out the gate with... Um... Right here, full speed, which still isn't super fast, but I'm going with it. It's bad they didn't have markers on the little map here. Okay, we're doing good so far, I think. We've done all these. Okay. I think we're gonna make it. Especially that we haven't even gotten out of the first cell of our batteries yet. And I'm going full speed. We don't have any wheels going the wrong way. Uh, guys, I think we did it. I don't see any more. We're gonna crush it in a minute and a half, or uh, 
They said three minutes, and it's already only been half of that, so... New record, all right. We did it in a minute and a half, half the time. Congratulations! I can't believe you cleared the expert course. I should have expected as much from a Vo Tally Respects. Here, please, I want you to have this memento for beating the expert course for the first time. Mm. Actually, the great reward was drinking that coffee. What are you going to do now? Feel like I'm giving it another, feel like giving it another go? Mm, no, thank you. Please come back and drive it sometime. Is your vehicle ready? Yeah. So you know you pay 10 rupees. Okay. If you're going to give it a go, I can... Uh, um, yeah, I'm... I'm game. Yeah. Fantastic. Let's do the beginner course one more time. And maybe I just need to race both of them with uh... 10 rupees? I don't know. I, but then I got to highlight the Lurlin one again and see, like, am I, what do I need to do to talk to them about, like, water racing? Because that was the whole reason why we came over here. Here we go. Look at all these boxes. I know they're here to be a obstacle, you know, to make the race fun. But I wonder if I broke a bunch of them open, if I'd get anything. Guys, I actually think that I might be able to get some more um, battery charge, too. I think we can get more. I think we have enough to to do that. But this has been so helpful having all of this battery. And you guys were telling me once I fix my hover bike, having a full battery is gonna make a big difference when we go explore the depths. Okay, new record. <laughs> that was some admirable driving. Not only that, you set a new record. I have to thank you for helping me get high quality data here. More charges. Mm -hmm. What are you do going to do now? Oh. Let's highlight, now we did this. Okay, so we did that, but now I need to get back to this. Um, okay, wait. I gotta get to Lurlin. Lurlin. Okay. Let's do that. They wonder if they might be able to invite some racing professionals. I wonder, I saw something. I wonder if the professionals are actually upstairs above her, and that's why it's highlighted, but, well, no. So, who are the racing prof, I mean, I know the race, oh, there they are, there they are. Maybe we can talk with them. Saba Saba. Saba Saba. What a busy day today was. <laughs> that was impressive. You're very skilled. The expert course was difficult, even for me. I didn't expect you to complete it and beat my time so oh. easily. There's a lot I can learn from studying your technique. As long as you're here, surely the research can continue without issue. Uh, Shabon and I should be free to leave. I must continue to refine my technique. Oh. If I study the course from high above, oh, here we go, I wanna talk to you. Hold on, don't go leaving me out of the conversation. Uh -huh. Something you want to ask? 
What's this all about? This isn't the place to talk. Why don't we go somewhere more relaxing? Downstairs, or we'll just stand there. I see. So it's a race that takes place on the water, right there off the Luralin Village shore? But racing on the ocean, I don't know, sounds difficult, maybe even impossible. Mm -hmm. No. That is not true, Shabon. Racing in a place where there are no roads, racing on the ocean, no, it is not impossible. Ooh. The possibilities are endless. Uh -huh. Well, 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 Tally, you're all fired up. But I don't know what to do here. If we just up and leave this construction site, we'll be leaving Furnison in the lurch. Mm -hmm. I'll be just fine. I was able to get the data I needed, thanks to both of you, and this one here too. <laughs> Go help him out and don't worry about me. Building a race course on the water sounds like fun. I wouldn't want you to miss out. Though, if you don't mind, could you gather some data from the water faring vehicles? Ah. That's a kind offer. I'm willing to bet you'll need lots of equipment to get the water rally up and running. So please take any Zoni devices or building materials you think you'll need uh, from here. Ah. You know, when this project started, I was sure we, uh, we'd gotten the bad end of the bargain. But nah, this was fun. This is cool. I like it. Oh. It was a valuable experience indeed. I thank you. Ah. No, thank you. All right. Haha, <laughs> things are quieter around here now. I'm glad I sent them off with a smile. But the truth is... I'd still like to get more data. Okay. You broke Tally's course record, so she and Shabon agreed to head to Lurlin. This should help Rosal and Bolson make progress on the water rally course. Let's fast travel back, guys. Oh, look at this. Down here now. That's fun. Let's, uh, let's go check it out. Mm. Overnight gaming fuel. That's what this is. I haven't done an, uh, a, a long late night gaming session in a while. But I just, I got the energy today. I'm feeling good, guys. I'm feeling really good. feeling uh just i got like i said uh, earlier today i got some really good news i've been feeling good but it was just really nice to hear my doctor tell me that things are looking good and uh be able to get back on the path of, you know, staying there. Here we go. Wonder what we're gonna find. They're gonna probably need me to build a vehicle. Oh. I see, using the surface of the water like that? Incredible. <laughs> Fascinating indeed. I'm dying to get to work. We've got this, no problem. Isn't that right, Tally? Oh. Yes. If we use the village boats, even the children should be able to enjoy it. Hmm? Oh. Ah, if it isn't our savior, I understand we have you to thank for inviting these two. Huh? And good thing, too. Now that they're here, this project is sure to be sun and done. Oh. Leave it to us. It's been a while since I had a big project. I can't wait to show you what I can do. All right, here we go, Bolson. But first, I've got to get my noggin in the building zone. Okay, yes, that's it. And I'm ready. Let's do this. Oh, there comes the martial arts and the karate building. Kick. 
Punch, it's all in the mind. Uh -huh. Ta-da, some of my finest work. That's cool. <laughs> yes, exciting. <laughs> Will you look at it? It's perfect for us. <laughs> it's even more incredible than I imagined it would be. With this uh, in place, Lurland Village is sure to be even more prosperous. Ah. I was already so grateful to you for driving out the pirates and rebuilding the village. I never expected you to do so much more for us. As head of this village, I must thank you once again. Thank you. We are filled with gratitude. Now, since you saved our village, there is no fee for you to use the course. Please enjoy it anytime you like. Oh. Moreover, to honor you as our village savior, we shall name this event the Savior's oh, okay. Race. Oh. What? You've got to be kidding. How about something classy like, oh, I don't know, the Lurlin Water Rally? Uh -huh. Don't go giving some weird name to a rally we helped with. Mm. Lurlin Water Rally is better. Hey, there, right there. Mm. Well then, the Lurlin Water Rally it is. Okay, well. Mm. Now, if you want to give the Lurlin Water Rally a spin, and I'm sure you do, come talk to me anytime. This course is a wash in Bolson Charm, and I can't wait for you to try it. <laughs> Look lively, everyone. Time to get to our stations. Here we go. So is this Bolson's new hideout now? This is great. Oh, look at this. Rule book. Okay, we definitely got to read the rules. Okay, read the Lurland Water Rally rule book. To successfully complete this rally, you must touch all of the lights and return to the starting point within the time limit. You'll be disqualified if you take your hands off the steering stick. Yep, you can uh, complete with any vehicle you like, as long as you can use the steering stick that was provided. Once you're, why does it have to be the provided one, I wonder? Why is that so different? Once your vehicle is ready, make sure it's floating on the water at the starting line. I wonder, guys, I am wondering if uh, the reason we're using theirs, maybe a normal, maybe this is why I didn't know about pushing forward uh, to make things faster. Maybe actually what's going on here is that it's this like modified steering stick that you get that um, goes faster. So that's maybe that's what it is. Once your vehicle is ready, make sure it's floating on the water uh, at the second or at the starting line and then speak to the race organizer. Okay. I think we need a vehicle though, right? We need to build a vehicle, though there is stuff here to use. Uh, current records, the beginner course has no record. And, okay, I see. Um, racing tips. Take a look at the route in advance to visualize your path through the course. Your vehicle is not, uh, will not perform as well if it is tilting on the water, balance is key. Since you can't make sharp turns or decelerate, it's important to steer carefully and not rush through the course. This is gonna be fun. Trial and error is essential to building a good vehicle. If you're struggling to finish the race, try changing up your design. Okay. Well, let's see what we got. Can I talk with him? It must just be about, Hi. welcome to the water rally. As you know, this thrilling event takes place on open ocean. We have a variety of courses to choose from and encourage you to select the one that floats your boat. Ha! There you go. Needless to say, you can join the fun free of charge. The head of the village would toss me in the ocean if I took money from the village savior. Uh, can I see the course? Mm -hmm. You're inquisitive. I like it. So which course... Are you interested? In oh, let's try the beginner one first. Give me a minute to get it ready. Now I'll just flip the switch for the beginner course right here. Mm. 
<laughs> Check out the lights, baby. We put a whole lot of love into this course, and that love shines bright. You can get a good look at the course from the terrain above. Maybe do a little uh, race visual visu uh, visualization while you're up there. Okay. Get back to me when you're ready to take it for a spin. Oh, look at that. Hey, guys. Oh, dang, that is super easy. Okay. Cool. All right, we just need to build a boat. Let's build a boat. Build a boat, build a boat. <laughs> this might be the only one I actually need. But, you know what I want? I want, I want to be even bigger. I want to go faster. Yep. Okay, and let's do one more in the middle. Okay, now I want to take a battery because it's going to need it and put that there and take a battery and put that there and I think this little stabilizer I think that's what this is I am going to put it here because as I remember when my experience has been that when things start blowing if you have a lot of power it's it's possible that with all the weight of the fans in the back and it blowing really hard that it could kind of like tip the boat like make it back heavy and then flip it I'm ready. Oh. You done visualizing? I want to try this course. Mm. When that dream machine of yours is ready, go ahead and set it afloat on the water. Okay. Let me know when you're ready. Uh, let's see where... Oh, I get it. I get it right here. Here we go, Bolson. Guys, we're racing today, huh? Mm. I'm gonna need you to get your vehicle uh, and wait for my signal. Okay. This is fun. Maha. Let's see how it works. I don't know if I needed that weight in the front, but we'll find out. Okay. Clear the course, touch all the lights, get back to the gate within that time. Here we go. This is fun. Taking your hands off the steering stick once you've grabbed it or straight. Yep, we know the rules. Let's see how it works. I hope this works okay. So, okay, we just learned something. My theory, um, I think about it. Uh, I don't want to try again. I got to fix my vehicle. Um, so now my, I think I put too much weight in the front. Maybe, maybe I, I use too many fans.
Let's try it without this. Here, be gone with you. Death to your maker. Okay, here we go. I hope this works. Someone is raring to go. Care to give? Yes. Beginner course, please. Okay. Let's flip the switch. Here we go. Will it? Now I wonder if the fans again will be too much. Maybe. Maybe all we need is just one fan or two at the most. Let's see what happens. Will I flip over really quickly again? I don't know. No, we got it. So that was it. The weight was just too much. And with these batteries, I'm not even... Guys, I'm not even dipping in. Oh, this is great. I'm not even dipping into my normal battery power yet. I wonder when it... Oh, what if that front one busts, though? It doesn't seem to be using too much. I might actually be done with the race before that one even is like, ping. Okay. And then what we'll do is we'll give all our data. To go, go back to Furnison. Welcome back. First, let's get you off to the water. Hey, hey now. Look who cleared the beginner course. Talk about skills. What a thrill it was to see you in action. You deserve something special for that. Here's a little reward. Nice. Mm -hmm. You get this too. Oh, roasted porgy. Mm -hmm. Kiana over at the restaurant put all her heart into making it for the hero of the village. That's you, by the way. If it's fantastic flavors you fancy, be sure to make your way to Azure Bay. Want to give it another try? Yes. Do you want to try uh, drive the same vehicle? Or do you want to make some adjustments? I'll drive this one. Mm. I'm actually going to save this one in my favorite places. This makes, or if not favorite places, but favorite the um, creations. Because this one is great. I get, it works really well. I'm going to need you to get in your vehicle. Wait, oh no, I, I want to do a different course. Well, we'll do this. Then I want to do the harder ones. Okay, let's go over the rules. Here we go. Oh, look at the battery is almost out though. Interesting, okay. I wonder if, uh, I think I made this point just a second ago. I for, forgive me. I was wondering how it would change if the battery died and disappeared, if that would change the weight of it in the front. But, you know, the thing is I've got so much regular battery power, it doesn't really matter. It actually seems to be going faster now. Works really well. Yeah, this is even faster. New record, I think. Yep. Cool. Nice. Oh, get a prize. Probably more porgy. Yeah. Okay. Now, I'm not gonna race again. Mm -hmm. uh, no, no thank you. That's the face of a man who has done great things. Mohawk. What a thrill that was. Please come back and do that again. I just wanna do the, uh... Yeah, give it a try. Uh, intermediate course. I'm gonna need you to get in your vehicle. Okay. Ah. Oh. 
This is gonna be fun. Intermediate. Mm. Ooh, look at all those. Okay. I'm ready. And honestly, I'm sure I can do this with just the battery I have when these are gone, when this is done. I have that long battery. I think I actually like this even more than the car. Might even pick up some speed now. Yeah, I think I will. Let's take a nice sharp turn. Yep. Hey, man. I need to go out for a minute and then come back around. There we go. I got a little hung up. There we go. I got a little uh, hung up. I couldn't make a sharp enough turn. Oh, I didn't even think that I probably could go faster if I press up again. I keep forgetting that. Whoa, my, you cleared the intermediate. I could barely breathe the whole time. Uh, you're more than, you've earned more than earn your prize. More batteries. You get this too. Ooh, getting some food. If it's fantastic flavors you fancy, be sure to make your way to Azure Bay. I really want to hear what the jingle is on that one. The music. Okay. Uh, let's do the hard one. And then we can give our findings back at um, Terrytown. All right, we don't have any batteries. Here we go. Let's go, let's go. Yep, I think that works as a break as well. Here we go. Oh, I like it when they go in pairs. Oh, gotta be careful because that's the balancing act. I can take that turn. There we go. All right, now we're gonna go back around. Hit it at the right angle. There we go. I think we can go straight now. Look at that. That worked out well this time. This is fun, having the uh, so much battery power. Nice. We did it. Okay. Mm. Well, look who cleared the expert course. You deserve a prize. All right, here's a little something special. Now we got five batteries. Mm -hmm. You get this too. More yummy food. <laughs> Kiana over at the restaurant did it. If it's fantastic flavor, you fancy. No, 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 no. There. 
Okay. Well, um, let me get this thing. And let me go like this. Oh, that looks awesome. No. Yes. Nope. We'll do it with the the two batteries. There. Okay. Hey, you can't do that. We need the Zonai device for the rally. You can't just, just take off with it. Okay, well at least I saved it, so I can always build it again. I was gonna stick it out there and just for fun. But, okay. Instead, let's go back home. And, oh, not this home, this one. All right, let's go here, and then we'll go uh, paraglide down and uh, see if we can share some data, if we need to go back and do that. This was fun, guys, this was a good episode. Okay. Hang on. Morning. You can hear Easy Boy. very relaxed this new microphone now I'm figuring out like I think proximity is good right here but I've been able to like lean back and kind of just be comfortable in my chair See if we can get another boost from Tulin. Nice. data that we can share if not no big deal <laughs> one thing I know for sure the data we collect here will be essential and while it won't be easy I'm certain we can make the Terry town race into something truly outstanding okay gotcha that's it that's all there is for that Lurlin Resort, uh, the Lurlin uh, Resort Project. That's done. Now, guys, let me know. Some of you guys have mentioned that 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 there needed to be more stuff done in Lurlin, and I I guess I could go back there and talk with people, but I'm wondering if that's the last thing to really complete it. Um. Kind of makes me wonder. Look at all of these guys. We're going to be doing this for a while. That is for sure. I kind of want to do a shrine. I haven't seen a shrine in a while. Let me just double back, though. 
Um, I just want to walk around and, and just check it on Lurl and make sure that there's no one else is like, hey, we have another mission. That is really cool, though. I really enjoyed that racing. That whole quest was really cool. I'm sure there's still more to be done in Terrytown as well. All right, let's check these. That's not was here. There was someone hanging out. Let's go see. Now we know the racing stuff is over here. They're probably all hanging out here now. This is probably like their new home. Let me make sure that the racers themselves. So this is the ocean. Ferguson gave us a bunch of Zonai thingamajigs as souvenirs. She was real excited about it too. Said she hoped it would help their work get recognized and whatnot. She even taught us how to use this junk. Okay, I admit it, these things are going to be a real big part of our races from now on. Boy. Ah, look at me running at the mouth. Guess I'm just excited. Anyway, the Zonai gizmos are here. Feel free to use them. But treat them right. Uh, we're we're going to use them after all. Or we're going to use them too. Boy. If you want. Yep. Thanks. Bolson's good. Bolson went from Mr. Construction Guy to Race Race Guy, Race Hoster. Look at those beautiful horses. Alright, let's um let's go talk with the rest of the folks in Lurlin just to make sure that that's kinda it. At least for now. go. I don't see anybody over here. Um, you're still here, buddy. Hey, the village savior, you're back. You took a liking to Lurlin Village, huh? Uh, this was painted by Zelda. It's a keepsake, my family. No, the whole village will pass down for generations. Her depiction of Lover's Pond renews your belief in love, doesn't it? It's almost like when Zelda painted that, she was feeling inspired. And yet, I'm still alone. <laughs> Poor Numar. Oh. The princess was quite fond of our little village. She often came here disguising herself as a simple traveler. It was during one of those visits that she painted the picture of Lover's Pond. You know, Kiana's restaurant and, and Jessica's salt spa were both inspired by Zelda's ideas. Really, we have her to thank for our reputation as Hyrule's top vacation spot. Lover's Pond. Ah. It's a pond on Tough Mountain. That big mountain looming behind my house. There was a time when lots of folks went there in hopes of finding true love. Then those ring garlands said to bring people close together uh started being sold in a village somewhere mm. now there are fewer and fewer visitors to lover's pond then zelda made her way out to lover's pond whenever she was in town only in the evening though i'm not sure why oh. they say zelda is still missing but i'm sure she'll turn up soon enough exhausted too no doubt i hope she comes back Guys, look. Ha! 
Thanks to you, Lurland Village has been restored. You must feel a kinship with this place after all the work you put in. Hmm? I do. Please feel free to ask me anything about the shops in the village, whatever I can do to help. There's plenty to see and do around here. You can get yourself some new gear for one. Where are you up for? Um, Time to stock up. Ah, then you should take a look at the inn, the restaurant, and the general store. I'm familiar with all these things because I built them. <laughs> feel free to use anything you like. I think we're probably done here. Okay. Upperly patrolling? I'd expect nothing less from you. The flag I made is getting an even better reception than I'd hoped. I hear, I hear that even Mubs, who set up shop all the way out at Lookout Landing, hung it up over there. My hope is that that flag lets people all over Hyrule know about Lurland, even if they never come here. What's up there, Aladdin? Uh, want to see Zelda's painting? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry. I'll see you, crab. Kid, let's see it. Red. So that means you get the prize on the right. Lucky man. You must be pretty happy scoring that prize for free. If you'd like it delivered to your place of residence, too bad I don't do that. Oops, also, I'll take that rupee back. It's not for you to keep. <laughs> like what you got? Of course you do. With my prizes, there's no losing. If you want to take another crack, you'll have to come back later. Cool. I don't know how I missed that. Oh, hi. Wee hee. Hi, savior guy. Hey, hey, play with me. Let's, uh, um, I know, I'll give you a quiz. You ready for a quiz? Sure. <laughs> Yay, my mom's really good at cooking, so I know lots about ingredients and stuff. <laughs> quiz time. Um, uh, Voltfin Trout and Electric Darner can both go in elixirs to stop electri uh, getting zapped from hurting as much. But which one can you only see when it's raining? Oh. Darn her. Oh, the trout. Oh! I keep getting them wrong. Uh, I caught an electric darner the other day when it was rainy. I left all my metal stuff at home so I wouldn't have to worry about getting zapped. That was fun. Let's play again. Another time. All this time. That girl was looking for Porgy. Probably could have just done that all the time. Okay. Cool.
Well, we're coming pretty close to the end of this episode, guys. Um, I want to go look at something real quick. I think you guys already know what I'm going to do. Heading to Tough. Tuft Mountain or Tough Mountain? Oh, look at that. Whoa! Uh, guys? Hold on! Have we not... We have. That's a construct that we've fought. We've already done that. So he's just, okay, never mind. I feel like I've seen this before. I admit, I can't see what that is doing. Oh. There we go. There's the Korok. Sweet. Bye-bye. Not sure I see anything specific here that strikes out at me. I just wanted to look, you know, what we were ta talking about Lover's Pond and 
you know, that guy was talking about how Zelda would always come up here, and he wasn't really sure what she was doing, but... Whatever it was, I thought we'd come over and look anyway. Okay. Not bad. But real quickly. I wonder if there's something that you see here if you come at a certain time. You know how, like, there's certain times of day, like with Satori Mountain, how we would... Go back and look at that painting one more time. Um... Guys? I... Hey, can you just move out of the way? Thank you. What if there's something about those fairies that are there that she painted? Hmm. And is there a certain time of day that they come out? Yay, more arrows. I don't know. I'm curious. I, I apologize, guys. I can't remember, honestly, if that was something that we've already seen and done. But... There we go. I think it was worth going and looking. like in her painting there were a bunch of fairies that were flying around or some sort of insect thing at least that's what it looked like to me You look at the painting, she clearly painted it from over here. Alright. What was Zelda looking at? Good job.
What do you think? At night? Do, do things glow? Does something happen? Like, in this picture, is that, was that a picture of a painting at, at nighttime and there were a bunch of those fairies there? Or was it just, was it nothing more than just a painting? I don't know, but uh, pretty cool. It is gonna be night soon. Hmm. All right, guys. This is all that little exploration kind of stuff I've been really wanting to get into. You know, I think it's really fun to uh, to see it and just kind of take my time with it and sometimes just do silly stuff, you know? Like, I don't know if that, it's not silly, but, you know, like, we see the painting. Let's go explore what it was that she drew and see, okay, well, is there something special about it? Was that conversation just to add to the lore or was there actually something more to it? Did Zelda come to Lover's Pond for a reason? I don't know, can we put more clues together? I don't know. I would be curious, it's getting darker and you can see the sun's gone down and there's a part of me that kind of wonders if like in her painting, there were a lot of fairies here, but we we didn't. But they're glowing, so I'm wondering if it's that they don't come out during the day, but that there's a you know at nighttime, something really special that happens here. It's getting darker. How late does it have to be, I wonder? Look at that. What a... What a sight to behold. Shooting star! Did you guys see that? That was... Though there's no beam there, it may not have been a shooting star. It might have been... Um, Hold up. Nadra. Do I have a Nadra? I've already taken a picture of Nadra. Still looking for Farosh. No, nothing's coming out. No, they are. Guys, look, there they are. See? Little lightning bugs. That was what was in her picture. Those. Aw, cute. Are these something I can pick up? Yeah. <laughs> no way! I guess that's the end of this episode. <laughs> Well, okay, guys, that's going to do it for this episode. It is currently 2.22 in the morning, 
and I still have a little bit of madrinas left just to get me through some video editing. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I had a lot of fun. This was really fun just trying to get through some side adventure stuff, getting through the side quests. Um, I, I, I really think we're done with Lorelin now. I mean, it is a fun place to visit. Um, but I don't think there's much to do there mission-wise. If I'm wrong, let me know in the comments uh, if there's more to do in Lurlin. I really enjoyed that because it kind of tied in a mission in two places. You know, um, they wanted to do the water rally thing to make it more of a tourist attraction. But to do that, we had to discover this new mission uh, in Terrytown, which was really fun uh, to really start the, the whole racing mission which i really thought was neat so um I, I had a lot of fun today and it was just kind of fun doing a little exploration as well um and i hope you guys had a really fun time with that and you know what i think one of my absolute favorite things i did as dumb as it sounds it had no real consequence to anything but the fact that i got that picture i have been wanting so bad to decorate our new house with a huge blown up version of that infamous Zelda and Link and the gang picture from, you know, basically the Hyrule Warriors days, but, you know, from that first game. Um, you can't see it right now because my camera zoomed in, but I have that picture hanging up on the wall. Uh, thank you, Pheasant of Hyrule. Um, so, uh, guys, I, 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 that was actually one of my favorite things. I'm like, I decorated my house with a picture that looked really awesome, you know? Uh, so anyway, that's going to be it for this episode, guys. I hope you had fun. Um, we'll have more fun. We're going to be back in the depths again soon. Um, but I'm just having kind of a fun getting through some of these side quests. There's a lot. There's a lot of side quests here. So I'm excited to get through it, uh, get through those. And I hope you guys are as well. I want to get some shrines done again, too. We, we'll go on the shrine hunt probably next time. Uh, we'll work on some shrines and we'll go back down to the depths. What I'll probably do is see if there's any light routes that I've turned on um down in the depths and then try and correspond some shrines up on the top of those two so anyway guys thank you so much for watching this video i hope you did enjoy it and if you did do me a favor and click like on this video also make sure to subscribe for more content come hang out with us at discord the link for that is down below and of course you can always dive in deeper with me by hopping on over to the patreon page which you can get to by going to this link right here it is legitimately always a joy of mine to play this game with you, share it with you, and uh, and just live this video game life with you guys. I hope you're having fun too, and I can't wait to do it again. But until then, take it easy. Oh,